Today's toy spot we'll be looking at McFarlane's Movie Maniacs Series 7 Robocop. Um, Robocop, I've always been a big fan of Robocop. Uh, I loved Robocop 1, Robocop 2 was watchable, I enjoyed it. And then unfortunately we got to the Robocop 3 which was ass. And then we got to the horrible Canadian Robocop series and then it basically it just fell apart. Um, but I don't I don't like to think about those other Robocops. I only like to think about that there was only Robocop 1 and there was only Robocop 2. Um, but yes, we're going to be looking at the Robocop figure here. Just a little quick look at the packaging. They they they've done like a Robocop colored blue packaging backdrop. Um, and then there's a picture of Officer Murphy right there. The Movie Maniac Series 7. On the back, the other figures in the wave are Leatherface from the remake of Texas Chainsaw Massacre. We have Aaron from, again, Texas Chainsaw Massacre. We have Old Monty from, you guessed it, Texas Chainsaw Massacre. And we have Sheriff Hoyt from, also, Texas Chainsaw Massacre. Oh, and then, of course, we've got Colonel Hicks. But... Uh, Weird that McFarlane basically followed one trend for for this series. Um, the only reason why is because if 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 you weren't a fan of the Texas Chainsaw Massacre and you weren't a fan of the remake, uh, you probably would just overlook this entire wave. Aside from maybe getting the the one RoboCop figure here, um, I I like the remake. So I mean, you know, I didn't get any of the any of these figures except for the, the Leatherface, but. We're not really talking about the Leatherface, are we? We're talking about Robocop, so uh, let's get this guy opened up, and what we'll do is we'll have a closer look at Officer Murphy. And here's the future of law enforcement, Robocop. Um, before, I, before I get into the review, I just want to say something. Um, I don't think I've, I've actually been this surprised with a figure that I've opened up the entire time I've reviewed a figure um, during my whole time on, on YouTube and uh, I just want to stop just want to maybe uh, you know smell the roses I, I just want to take this all in because uh, this I, I'm even lost for words you see that um, and the reason why is when I took this figure out of the packaging we all know McFarlane guys we know how notorious McFarlane is for just making a statue uh, he'll give us he'll throw us a bone and he'll give us a t articulation maybe in an elbow or maybe in a head but aside from that nothing um, so I expected the exact same thing when I picked up this Robocop and then when I was opening up the packaging I thought to myself up oh, here we go we have another pre-posed figure that ain't going to do very much other than just standing there and <gasps> I was thrown back. I, I can't believe it. I took this guy out of the packaging and uh, I just went to move the arm and I'm thinking okay I'll just move it this way and what? 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 The arm moves out. And what? The elbow bends. And the, the hand turns. What? That can't be right. What's going on here? And then I'm looking at the head, and the the head has movement, and and the waist, the waist has movement, and the and the torso. Well, the torso has no movement, but I mean, who you know, who's going to be asking for all that? Uh, there's articulation in the knee. There's articulation in the foot. There's even articulation in the. Uh, well, I thought in the toe, but I guess not. But uh, wow. Boy, was I ever surprised. Um, 
Uh, Todd, I know you're a big fan of my videos, and uh, I just want to say, McFarlane, uh, great job on the figure itself. I was pleasantly surprised, even though he's not going to stand for me now. I was pleasantly surprised with how well this figure turned out, and uh, I, I'm amazed that it has as much articulation as it does. So uh, to you, sir, I tip my hat. Um, in the way of accessories, the figure comes with a base, uh, which, which is funny because the base looks very similar to Robocop 2, where he shot the bullets around the guy's head as the guy was smoking, and then he said, thank you for not smoking. Um, so it's funny that you get that, although the Robocop itself has the Robocop 1 coloring. It doesn't have the, which I prefer, I like the Robocop 2 coloring more so, which was the blue, like the more of the, the bluer tinge. Um, I would have only hoped that when this figure was released, McFarlane could have released a variant. I mean, it would have involved no change to the sculpt. You could have just changed the color a bit. But uh, it would have been nice to get a Robocop 2 variant. But um, his other accessory down here, down down there, is, uh, is his Auto 9 handgun. And his Auto 9 handgun fits snugly, but still fits well in his hand. And you can actually, well, you're looking at his thigh there, you can actually get his, his finger into the trigger area there. So now he can, uh, you know, enforce the, uh, enforce the law. Overall, I'm, I'm thoroughly impressed with this figure. I, I was, I walked in with such low expectations and now to see the figure, I'm, I'm pleasantly surprised. I'm pleasantly surprised guys. Um, great figure based on a great movie. Um, the only thing now, the only thing is, and I'm not, I'm not going to try to ramble off too much here, but I have one question for you guys. For anyone who's seen Robocop or the Robocop movies, do you remember when him and Officer Lewis sat down um, at the, was it the plant in Detroit, and he's hiding from the law, and she brings him a drill, and he takes his helmet off? Does anybody know what the hell happened to this bottom area? Did you notice he takes this off, he puts it down on the table, and then when the camera pans back at him, sure enough, all you see is his human face with all his, uh, you know, cyborg mechanisms at the back. But where the hell did his chin guard go? Where is the chin guard? Does anybody know? But the, anyways, going back to the figure, my rants aside here, uh, great figure. I, I can't recommend him enough. I mean, for... Uh, for the amount of articulation he has, and I'm just trying to put him in his base here. For the amount of articulation he has, I'm I'm thoroughly surprised. I definitely definitely want to recommend him. Um, I would say he uh, he looks great on your shelf, and uh, if you happen to have maybe one of these guys too, you can live out the fanboy's wet dream and uh, have a Robocop versus Terminator. But uh, Let's put this guy back aside here, and let's focus again on Officer Murphy. There we have a toy spot on a surprising uh, Movie Maniac Series 7 Robocop, and with that, I will see you guys later. Thanks for watching.